Russia will support any country defending itself from the West, Vladimir Putin says. Exactly. So that is why um, Russia is on a very wide campaign in Africa, especially North and Central and West Africa, okay, um, promising to give them more ammunition, more military support and everything that they will help African nations that will want to defend self from the Western uh, influence and all of that. So President Putin made this uh, statement and I'm sure because he's already in the last military games that was organized, a lot of African nations attended and he made some of these statements uh, as well. Um, and this is just uh, in line with a few, a few days ago that he visited uh, uh, the military junta in uh, Burkina Faso and had detailed discussion uh, strengthening their ties militarily and economically in Burkina Faso. And again, this is also in line probably with what we heard that the military junta in Niger Republic has secured contract support from the Wagner private military force in Russia to come and support them to fight the West and also to protect themselves from the power of ECOWAS and the West. Okay, so let's see what Putin has to say more uh, in his promise. The Russian President Vladimir Putin has vowed to support any country that's determined to defend its national interest against the Western nations. We know he will do that. Putin said Moscow would collaborate with any country in the area of technology. He stressed that Russia is determined to actively work on existing cooperation ties and also to create new relations based on its many years of successful experience in mutually beneficial partnerships. In a cable message to the participants of the Army 2023 Forum, Putin said Russia is open to deepening equal technology partnership and defense cooperation with other countries, that is with all those who seek to protect their national interests and independent development path and believe it is vital to make joint effort to building a system of equality and indivisible security that will reliably protect every country. Putin remarked is coming when the military overthrew a democratically elected government in the Niger Republic. There are reports that Russia is backing the military junta in the Niger Republic. Of course, we know that. Okay, we know that. So, because of what is happening now, and that is why some people are seeing the coup in the Niger Republic as the beginning of Third World War. But I personally refuse because when the war started in in uh, in uh, Ukraine between Ukraine and Russia, people thought that it was going to result to Third World War, but it never resorted to it. What is happening in the Niger Republic is a child's play to what has happened in Ukraine for the past two years or thereabout, and. It, 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 you know, that of Ukraine did not result to any Third World War. NATO was just backing, backing, backing. They couldn't do anything. US, UK, and France, all of them are just, and Germany, all of them just backing. Nobody did anything. And whether we like it or not, Russia had devastated Ukraine beyond repair. What Russia did to Ukraine, Ukraine will not recover in the next 10 years. That is the truth. So the issue now remains that. Um, saying that the, the, the coup in the Niger Republic will result to Third World War is also not going to be true. But we know that what is happening in Ukraine is going to be a competition between the Russia and the West because the U.S. and France has interest in, in Niger. Meanwhile, uh, Russia also uh, has interest in ensuring that they secure those countries from the influence of the West. Okay? And Russia's own is disbursing and releasing military uh, weaponry to those countries to help themselves. Well, there are a few comments here. Um, somebody saying Russia should not use Africa to fight the West. We are not his puppet. Can you imagine? But you will be a puppet to US and to China, or probably to France and Germany. Okay. But the West are using your allies, your allies, to impoverish you, Abby, enslave you, dehumanize you, and kill your dreams and destiny. 
what have you done about it? That's a big question. So you don't want Russia to use you uh, to fight the West, but the West is also impoverishing you every day. You can imagine the uranium that and the gold that taken from Niger. Look at what happened in the Republic of Congo with respect to gold as well. Look at what happened in uh, Libya with respect to the death of Maman Gaddafi. So the West cannot enter in without having any attack from you. Look at what's happening in the oil in uh, Nigeria and even Libya. Okay, so it's, it's, it's a case of interest here. Okay, and with all that, the world, both uh, International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, United Nations, they will come and give aids to Africa without helping Africa to be truly independent. That is very, very bad. Okay? Please, our leaders in Biafra should meet that man. Abi, <laughs> let the leaders of Biafra go and meet Putin to help them to actualize it. And it may happen. Don't be surprised. Good, very urgent, seek for Putin's intervention because it was the West countries that did not allow uh, Biafra to leave Nigeria. Can you imagine? Don't worry, it will happen. God bless Russia. Somebody, this is welcome development. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I have said it often and on that the war between West world and Russia will lead to um, something meaningfully to Africa. Okay, as the war prolongs, the parties will look for alternative, and the time is now. That is the only time God provided Africans to free themselves from the shackles of colonial bondages. Because when two elephants fight, the ground suffers it, but it turned to opposite. Okay, because the two elephants will come looking for partners, and that is when all the colonial agreements will be renegotiated. Exactly. Exactly. With the current type of management, it can't. Africa's problem is management. The day our leadership style will change, that is when Africans will be liberated. This is only the political class in Africa that are ready for the development of their continent. Hmm. God bless Putin and bless Russia for telling us how foolish African rulers are. And that's exactly what it is. Putin is close to Nigeria. We are the next target because our own Wahala too much. We are not united in Nigeria at all. So Putin will come and do something. So I said, please, oh, Russia, come and help uh, people, uh, Biafra. We don't have a good leader except our Mazinam de Kano. Can you imagine? So the problem here is that Russia, myself, because for you to break loose from the influence of the West, you need an equal amount of force and power. And it's only Russia that has that kind of power right now. Africa cannot break from the West on their own. But what will it mean? Will it mean breaking loose from one devil and getting connected to another devil? That is yet to be discussed. Because Russia looks for long term, America looks for short term, France looks for what it can gain immediately. But Russia will be looking at 10, 20, 30 years, 50 years ahead and walk towards it. Okay? So that is what Russia is saying. They are ready to help any country in the world, especially African countries, that are ready to defend themselves from the influence of the West. Let's have your comment in this regard.